Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 20th to the 26th of November 2023. So we have three main energies this week, starting with the Sun moving into Sagittarius, then Mars moving into Sagittarius, and ending the week with the beginning of the first phase of the next Mercury retrograde, as we head towards the full moon on Monday in Gemini. So Sagittarius energy starts bouncing in. It's very bold, it's very courageous, doesn't like blocks and limitations. It's very sovereign and golden and empowered. But one of the main keynotes of Sagittarius is wisdom. Sagittarius the sage. And this is the wisdom of all ages. It's not a small personal wisdom, but it's just knowing that something's right, lasting, eternal. So an example of that would be when people talk about my truth. But Sagittarius knows that truth can't be personal and subjective. There's only eternal truth. Everything else is just an opinion. So this is a great time to tap into our deep wisdom. Sagittarius shoots its arrow direct to the galactic centre of our universe. And that sign is one that loves to get straight to the point. By all means, we can circle round and gather information, but then reducing it down and down and down until we get to the real point. So this is a great month for study, for taking a broad perspective on a deep subject, going on that journey, viewing things fairly, doing our own research, gathering information, and then feeling at the heart of things the deepest and truest meaning. So as the sun moves into Sagittarius, we start to feel that energy on a collective level, And of course now we're approaching the Christmas period. Many of the traditions and symbols of Christmas are to do with Jupiter and Sagittarius. So there's a sense of hope, of the sun being reborn, generosity and being the light in the darkest days, lit from within. The heart and hearth are almost the same word. When we sit around the hearth fire, we're actually talking about the heartbeat, the inner flame that nourishes us throughout the year. So there should generally be a warm, gracious and strong energy starting to permeate after a couple of very intense Scorpio weeks where we've had to go deep within ourselves and transmute anything of lower density in order that we can raise our consciousness. So on Wednesday, that's when the Sun moves into Sagittarius and by Friday, Mars joins in as well. Mars is also a fiery energy and many people who have reported feeling confused and lost over most of 2023, going to start to feel that sense of direction again and purpose. Mars is where we take our passion and our energy and direct it upwards with focused attention. And as we're still in the two-week window of the recent new moon, this is actually a good week to set intentions, to reset our compass to the very centre and then decide with passion and excitement what is the best use of our energy and what is our path going forwards. There'll still be some twists and turns along the way as we're dealing with Pluto, leaving Capricorn, leaving a whole paradigm behind. And it's not really until the end of January that we'll have the right atmosphere to start seeing our vision more clearly. But in the winter months, we go in and find our passion and centre on that. We can actually start making some steps or sowing some seeds towards what we'd like to put our energy into in 2024. However, by the end of the week, 26th of November, we start the first phase of Mercury retrograde. So Mercury will cross over the 22 degree point of Sagittarius and head into Capricorn by the 13th of December when it turns retrograde and heads back to this 22nd degree point. So as we know, Mercury retrograde is all about awareness, keeping our eyes and ears open, seeing what stories come up, what the outside world is reflecting to us or presenting to us. And what that represents to us, what's the deeper meaning, what is it in us that's calling that in, and what inner changes can be made to recalibrate ourselves. So the beginning of Mercury retrograde, as we approach the full moon in Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury, by the end of the week, eyes and ears open for messages, observing our thoughts, observing how we communicate, what we communicate, even why we communicate, and is it necessary? Because communication is 5% verbal, and in the modern day, listening has taken a back seat. But when we can be quiet enough to observe and seek understanding, and listen to the messages that we're receiving, then that really is a true gift. We can also look at how we're communicating non-verbally, eye contact, body language, body energy. What's your energy going out and echoing back to you? As we're all giant transmitter receivers, we can make a situation worse. We can calm the situation. We can use our energy to influence the outside world. 
hopefully in a positive way, and start to feel the magic of the Magi when we connect with the gifts of the heart. So sovereign power and mastery are the workshop of the month. Know thyself. Start to see and feel the vision that you have for where you place your energy, your passion and purpose at this time. Work with your energy field. Perform daily magic, which if done on a regular basis, will start to give you the confidence that you are making the changes that you want to see. You're attracting your world to you and you also have the power to change that if you realise that something that you're putting out cause and effect is attracting something back to you that's undesirable then to go inside and find the undesirable block or belief that you're harbouring within. So a very deep month of Sagittarius here takes us all the way up to the winter solstice and while this season can be very outward and busy just make some time to reflect and observe to notice the magic that's happening all around you to be part of the magic of what you're attracting to you. So if you'd like to see what this is happening for you, I am available, zoehind7 at gmail.com for gift vouchers and readings, courses and coaching to help you understand your soul map, which is your birth chart, more intimately, be able to engage with all of the planets in your inner universe, as this is one of the major tools of self-mastery that we have at our disposal. It doesn't have to be difficult to learn, but it is your design, so it would be a shame not to at least engage post these videos on YouTube, Zoe Astro, Instagram Zoe Hines 7 and Facebook Astro Zoe. Please do like and share to help to get this information out further and I do try to respond to any comments if you'd like to leave me some feedback. So bounding into the month of Sagittarius with the Sun first, then Mars and Mercury getting ready to retro back into Sagittarius, all going on in this shamanic, magical and sovereign sign. So live from your heart, Feel gratitude and generosity and harness this warm, fiery, wise energy as we go through the darkest months and we realise that we are our own inner light. So wishing you a wonderful week and I'll see you next week.